I'm going to show you how to design beautiful and professional looking emails for your Klaviyo account within Canva, even with zero skills in graphic design whatsoever. Like I'm an idiot when it comes to design and I can still do this. So let's dive in. First of all, of course, you're going to go into Canva and then you're going to hit create a design. The way we like to do it is you hit custom design and then you select the width of 750 and height 3000. The height is adjustable. Obviously, you don't need to have the height perfectly done. The reason why we set it as 3000 is generally speaking, that's more than enough. You can obviously go longer if you need to. So once you do that, uh, this is what you're going to kind of land upon. By the way, the reason why we're teaching Klaviyo email designs in Canva is just because this is like the best tool for people who are completely new to graphics. Um, for us, I run an email agency and we use Figma, which is a much better tool for co collaboration and in terms of like just design complexity. So yeah, but you know, Canva is pretty decent and is decent enough to get you started. So let's take a look at this brand refi. This was an email that we threw together really, really quickly as a free sample for them. Um, and this is kind of the design that I'm going to try to replicate for you in this video. I believe this design was actually designed in Photoshop, but I'm going to show you how to kind of like get something as close to this as possible within Canva. So first of all, obviously you're going to need to go get the logo for any brand. The logo should look something like this, right? So when you copy it in, I like to design the logo natively within Canva or Figma or whatever, simply because within Klaviyo, what you're going to find is if you design the logo in Klaviyo, you're going to realize that for mobile, it makes the logo extraordinarily large as opposed to keeping it the same size. So we like to blend it in. Uh, with the actual banner of the email. So I would probably put it something like this, um, maybe shrink it a little bit more and uh, just keep it, oh, oops, keep it centered and aligned. So a quick way to do this, by the way, is just like put it in the middle, put it at the top, whatever, and then center align it, which is already done. So you can use that to kind of get alignment really quick. So once this is done, you're going to then get into the meat of the actual email. You can see like the, the color that we use wasn't exactly white as the background, which is fine. Um, you can get a tool like color picker right here. You can see I can, you know, just click the colors and it'll uh, create this. And uh, the it's called color pick eyedropper. So this is a Chrome extension, right? So if I wanted to replicate this color, I'll just simply get this copy the hex code, boom, you can do this with literally anything. You could just pick your brands and add it in here, done. And then in terms of this one, you could remove the background. So you can see this one, uh, the, the logo should look fine now. So that's it in terms of the background. Now we're going to dive into more of the creative. So essentially reason why we kept this email simple is because based on the previous emails, you can see that they mainly just use these types of creatives. So what we're going to look for is a, uh, some product imagery. So let's say I wanted to take this photo right here. I would just click copy and uh, paste it in right here. Boom. And in, just make sure it's center aligned and then obviously make the size uh, decently large. Make it look nice. Boom, something like this. And then you can see I put the refi here. What I would have probably changed in this email, looking back at it, is simply shifting the text up. So moving this part of the text to somewhere like here, and then keeping this here, and then have moving the CTA up essentially. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna hit the text tool. In the text tool, what you could do is let's say you know you wanna check out the refis refi's logo, right? So you can, I'm just going to pull up uh, refi font. By the way, real quick, if you're an e-commerce brand doing over a million a year, you should not watch this tutorial. Instead, you should go down in the description below, book in a call with my team. Uh, well, myself, I'll be on the call. Um, and you should hire us to do your email marketing simply because it's not the best use of your time and we have a ton more experience in email marketing than you do personally. So yeah, we should hop on a call. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Whatever your font would be, essentially this one would be refi. It would be like, I don't know, Lauren Ramsey. Anyways, the font's not too important for the sake of this video, but let's say we'll use something like this, maybe. In terms of font size, you want to make it standardized, right? So when it comes to titles, I generally like to use anywhere from 
uh, 32 down to kind of like 24 for like banner text. So in this case, I wanna make it nice and big. We're designing a welcome email in this case. So welcome to refi, something like this. And then in terms of the copy here, thank you for helping us redefine beauty, boom. Just copy this, boom. And then make this uh, a smaller font size. So let's say, Okay, so this is only bold, so I might look for something skinnier, so something corporate-y. Um, maybe we can go with something like this. Yeah, something like this works. Make this 32, this could be like 24, something like that. And uh, thank you for helping us. So this is kind of like how you would essentially structure it. So font size wise, I might make this a little bigger, uh, but it's honestly dependent on the font. So this is essentially what the banner would look like. And what you could do is uh, to replicate what we had previously, we would do something like this and uh, make the color, um, maybe invert it or something. Nope, not like this. So in terms of getting the refi, we could just replicate this real quick. Uh, I would just make this white and increase the font by a lot. Something like this, right? Refi, boom, effects. You can make it hollow as well. Something like this to replicate what we have here. So this is essentially what you would do. Um, to replicate the old design. And you can see like th this is already shaping up decently nice as a branded piece, right? And then in terms of CTAs, it's simply a case of, you know, adding the right shapes. So elements, uh, and then because this brand is a very kind of like minimal type of uh, linear brand, I would use a CTA like this boom and obviously make it black to be in line with brand colors position wise you would center it again and uh yeah in terms of the font obviously just make it the same as before make it oh oops not white um, make the font color white and then to put like shop right and then obviously make the font size a little bigger 24 or something right so you can see this is already shaping up quite nicely from an email perspective. I would not be ashamed to send this out, but obviously, you know, if we're working with a client, it's going to look a lot, lot better than this. So in terms of the rest, icons like these, you can see right here, icons like these, you could literally search gift icon and you can pull up some elements right here. So I would, I might use something like this. Obviously, again, you would make it white right and then add a circle around this and you're basically good to go right you can alternatively use something like this make it white and then add another element like a circle shape boom and then make the inside hollow uh, border height color you can make it no color and then you can see right so thickness wise you could uh make this a dotted line, it doesn't really matter. You would just do this and you can replicate icons very, very easily. Just like that, make the colors obviously relevant and then add the lines. And that's how you design emails in Canva, right? You just wanna get creative. The main thing you wanna get right is the width. So the width is really important. You set it at 750 pixels because that's kind of like best practice for emails. So in terms of exporting, what you wanna do is you just wanna click share and then you wanna hit download. I would recommend downloading it as a PNG. Download the full length, even if you didn't take it up, because what you can do in Klaviyo is you can actually crop it. And I would recommend you use something like uh, compress JPEGs or something to, uh, to reduce the actual size of the image. But basically you wanna just take that, upload it into Klaviyo, segment it, add the relevant links and uh, yeah, that's how you design beautiful, professional looking emails within Canva. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.